Hello friends, in last few videos we have seen how to apply Newton's first law and we have seen different cases like horizontal plane, inclined plane and all these cases how we apply Newton's first law. Now from this video onwards we will be going to discuss Newton's second law and we will learn how to apply Newton's second law in different situations. So the objective of this session is to analyze the straight line motion with a constant force. So this is a relatively simple situation when you have a motion in the straight line and you are applying a constant force. Let us illustrate this case using a problem. So this problem says an ice boat is at rest on a frictionless horizontal surface. So this is the ice boat and this is on the rest on a horizontal surface which is frictionless. So friction coefficient is given and this is equals to zero in this case. Now the question says a wind is blowing along the direction of the runner so that four seconds after the ice boat is released it is moving with a moving at a speed of six meter per second. So wind is blowing in this direction and this wind will basically apply a force to this ice boat and Basically, it will accelerate the motion of this ice boat. So this question is saying this ice boat starts its motion at t is equals to 0 and after 4 seconds this ice boat has gained a speed of 6 meter per second. In other words, it has, from a start after 4 seconds it has reached or it has gained a velocity of 6 meter per second. So basically there is an acceleration from 0 to 6 meter per second. So velocity is changing. So there is acceleration of velocity. Now the question says what constant horizontal force does the beam exert on the ice boat? So this bend is basically applying a force. Let's call this a constant force. Let's call this as Fw, the force due to the bend. So we have to basically calculate this bend force. The combined mass of ice boat and the rider that is given and this is 200 kg. So mass is given of boat plus rider. So how will you solve this problem? So first we have to see what are the things that is given. So what are the things that is given? So it is given after t is equals to 4 second, it has gained an a speed of, so let's call initial speed is 0, that is uh, sometime we write with u, the initial speed with u. So u is equals to 0, that is initial speed is given. And the final speed after 4 second that is also given, that is 6 meter per second. Any other thing that is given? Yes, mass is given. Mass of rider plus ice boat, this is equals to 200 kg. And we have to find Fs. So the tar target variable in this case, that is force applied by the bend, that is Fw. So this is the term that we have to find. So how will you solve this problem? So what we will do first, we will first draw the free body diagram and once I have the free body diagram we can apply Newton's second law that is Newton's second law. Why we are going to apply Newton's second law because you see the hint is given we have to find force and the question also gives a hint of acceleration because the velocity is changing we can calculate the acceleration. And we know the Newton's second law basically relates force is equals to mass into acceleration. So I have to calculate this force and I have been given this acceleration and this mass. So now I can calculate my force. So in this case basically I have to apply Newton's second law. So let us first draw the free body diagram of this ice boat system. So what are the forces that is acting? The one force that is the bait that will come in this direction. So let us show this using a point mass and the bait is acting in the downward direction and the magnitude of this bait is mg. Now 
this surface will also apply a normal reaction basically there are two places we will have that is the normal reaction we will concentrate all this normal reaction at one point and we will call this normal reaction as n so this is the normal reaction that is acting on this ice boat system now the wind is also applying a force and the magnitude of this is fw so we can show the wind force something like this and now we can consider my x-axis along this direction and my y-axis along this direction. So this is complete for free body diagram. Now we can use force is equals to mass into acceleration to calculate the force. But to calculate acceleration we have to use kinematical equation. So this is a constant force. So Acceleration will also be constant because this force is constant. So acceleration will also be constant and we can apply kinematical equation that is V is equals to U plus AT. You may remember this equation where V is the final velocity, U is the initial velocity, A is the acceleration and T is the time in which velocity basically changes from U to V. So the final velocity in this problem is given that is 6 meter per second and initial velocity is 0 and we have to find acceleration and time is given this is 4 second. So from here basically I can calculate acceleration is nothing but 6 by 4 meter per second square and this is 1.5 meter per second square. So once I have this acceleration I can calculate the force. So let us apply Newton's second law in the x direction. So I can write in the x direction total force. So I can write Newton's second law in x direction. So in the x direction what are the forces that is acting? Fw is the force. Force is equals to mass into acceleration. So mass is given that is m. And acceleration now I know that is 1.5 meter per second square. So if you plug the value of mass which is basically 200 kg in this case. So 200 kg times 1.5 meter per second square. So if you calculate this, this will turn out to be 300 Newton. Basically kg meter per second square is called Newton. So 1 kg, so we are using the conversion that is 1 kg into meter per second square. This is equals to 1 Newton. If you want you can also write equation in the y direction. So in this case y direction forces are n and mg, mg is negative. So I can write in this case n minus mg and the vertical direction there is no acceleration so this is equals to 0. So now I can write n is equals to mg. So if you want to calculate normal reaction you can use this equation also. So in this video we have learnt how to apply Newton's second law and we illustrated this with very simple situation in which you are applying a constant force so that the acceleration is constant and then you can basically simply use force is equal to mass into acceleration to calculate the force. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.